Lights hold a lot of different symbolism for many winter celebrations, whether they be winter solstice, religious celebrations, or New Year's celebrations. Lights in winter show a symbol of celebration and hope. Today we're going to make a subtractive light drawing. What you're going to need is a pencil. Make sure you have a pencil sharpener. You need an eraser, either on your pencil or separate. On your pencil is better and a tissue. Your paper should be very small, almost like a note card. If you need to cut it down, you can. If you have on the right, you can see different kinds of drawing pencils. You can use those too. If you have a set of drawing pencils or charcoal, try to use the ones that are B pencils, so 2B, or even better, 4B or 6B. And that far thing to the right is called a blending stump. You could use that instead of a tissue. Another material that might work are chalk pastels, but make sure that you can erase them. The first thing we're going to do on your paper is we're going to make a layer of gray. So with the side of your pencil, you're going to shade your entire paper. You can use a tissue to blend it, or you can use a blending step if you have it. But the goal is to make your paper gray without a lot of lines. So you really need to be able to use the side of your pencil, not the top of your pencil, to create that nice shade of gray. My suggestion would be to go from a corner and go all the way across the page. See, I'm holding my pencil so that way I'm just using the side of my pencil, trying to make shading, not a lot of lines. You might wanna put a mess mat or something underneath so that way your paper is smooth and that you can go all the way off to the edge. I'm having a little trouble because my table is really rough, but that's okay. Take your time to use the side of your pencil. You might need to stop. You might need to sharpen it, but don't get too impatient and start using the top of your pencil or skipping whole areas. You really want it to be nice and shaded. Once I'm done, I'm going to take my tissue, kind of wrap it around my finger and rub the pencil so that the lines kind of blend a little bit and that I just get kind of a gray tone. Also, it's good to go one direction, one way, and then switch directions for a second layer. Once again, going all the way across the page so that if there is a texture that has some lines, they're at least not distracting because they're really even going one direction and then crisscrossing the other. I'm only gonna do this two times, but if you have the patience and you can do this more than two times, go right ahead. Mind you, the side of your hand's gonna get pretty dirty, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub, so that way I'm getting more of a gray tone and less lines. Looks pretty good, comparing it to that normal piece of paper. This one's a charcoal pencil. You can see it's a little darker. It'll make it a little easier to blend. And if you have a blending stump, it's kind of like a really tightly wound rolled up paper that you can blend with. But you need your paper pretty gray for this to work. All right, so now that I have my gray paper, it's time to start drawing a light. For the light, we're gonna start with the base. So you're gonna need a rectangle. And you're gonna put lines across it to show the grooves of how it screws into a wire. 
and then a little half circle on the bottom to show where it connects to the power. Then you're gonna take your eraser and instead of drawing a light bulb, you're going to erase the outline of a light bulb. This is where the subtractive part comes in. You are also going to erase the inside to make that part light. So instead of drawing a light bulb, we're erasing it. So the eraser is now the drawing material. Take your time to do this. And you can see that making the paper really gray helps that light bulb stand out some more. I'm gonna use another eraser just to kind of clean it up a little bit. But small erasers are good for fine details. After you have a light light bulb, we're gonna put the filament in. So you need two lines that are coming from the base that kind of point outward and you need the loopy line in between, the part that actually glows. Now that we have the light bulb being lighter in the background, we're also going to make the base, which is metal, have a little bit of shine right in the middle. And then we need light coming from the light bulb. So with your eraser, radiating but not touching the light bulb, you're going to do lines that come out from the light bulb and go off the edge of the paper. I'm not touching the light bulb because I want the shape to stay nice and crisp. Now, if your light bulb isn't quite crisp enough, you like you can't see the edge, you can take your pencil lightly and trace the very outside just a little bit. You can also shade around it so that way it stands out a little more. So you can take the same principle and you can create different compositions with it. That is up to you. But like for this one, I'm using my charcoal, blending it, making it a little bit darker. And then instead of one light bulb, doing a string of light bulbs. So I made my bases, I erased the middle, I did the filament and then I did the light coming off of it. I hope you enjoyed our kind of different technique on how to make a light today and looking forward to seeing what kinds of creative ways you use light in your holiday celebrations.